Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's probably been quite a while. I have moved house, um, but we don't have the internet here just yet, so it'll be another week or so before I can even post this video, but I thought I would just record a few anyway. I don't have my eyebrows on yet, so this is going to be an eyebrow tutorial. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do really easy, colourful eyebrows, like two-tone colourful eyebrows. I did this with blues the other day and I'll put a picture up of it um, and today I'm going to do pinks. Because I shave off the ends of my eyebrows, um, if I just did it all the one colour, the part with hair would look a lot darker than the tail, um, so I'm just showing you how I sort of even them out tone wise. My favourite products for doing um, like colourful eyebrows are either liquid lipsticks or liquid eyeliners. Eyeshadows take a lot of work, unless you had like really fair eyebrows and quite sparse ones, um, it'd be really hard to make it show up. So I like to just go in straight away with something really really bold and pigmented. So I'm going to use both an eyeliner and a liquid lipstick for this. I'm starting off with Stargazer UV Eyeliner in Fuchsia and I'm going to fill in the entire shape with this colour. I'm using the Zoeva Wing Liner Brush. And basically just make sure you cover every hair and wiggle it about so that it gets down into your skin as well. You could start with the tail end, I just like to get this all filled in first. When I get to the front of the brows I use the I use the liner brush on its edge rather than straight across and just flick up. The shape of my eyebrow tail changes day to day. Just whatever I'm feeling like or when mistakes happen on the other side and I'm trying to match up. So I'm just going to do the other side now before going on with the second colour. So the other side's done now and they're more or less the same shape. This eye is watering but ugh, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, I have also gone over the tail just one more time so that it was really opaque. And then the only trouble then with using liquid lipsticks is that sometimes uh, if the layers are too thick it might crumble off. But this is okay so far. Um, so the second colour is going to be Jeffree Star Queen Supreme. Um, I'm just taking some on the back of my hand. And then I've got this little spiky plastic spoolie. Um, I'm going to take some on that and just run it through my brow hairs. And this um, will coat the hairs so that they look less brown but it'll also lighten up this area. So that overall it's totally better. If you wanted even more of an ombre brow, you could mix. Um, you could you could use a lighter colour or mix this one with a white to just run through the front. But I'm happy today with the two colours. When I did the blue look, I did actually use three colours. I'm just going to do a second layer of Queen Supreme. I'm just going to go over with the actual eyeliner brush, just the tip, so that the two colours merge a bit better. I do have quite dark brows, so I guess this is showing you that anything can be covered really. Just zoom me back out so you can see the overall effect. You can tell that I have brow hairs there, but that's fine. I'm going to go take these lashes off now because my eyes are watering so bad, they obviously can't cope today. You can do this with any colour combination and they don't even really need to be the same colours. You could have like a red tail and stroke an orange through. I probably do coloured brows at least once a week. Um, and this is my favourite way of doing them. Hope you find this helpful. See you next time. Bye.